Good morning, kindergartners. Um, this is Mr. K. I'm excited to share yet another story with you all today. Today's story is going to be called My Name is Yoon. I chose this story because, as you know, May is Asian Heritage Month. I know that uh, yesterday, Ms. Patterson, during morning meeting, was able to share a little bit about Asian culture and her culture as well. So today, we're going to be learning a little bit about this character named Yoon. And before we get into the story, I want to show you a map of the world. So Yoon is a young girl who is from this area of the world called Korea. Now today, Korea is broken up into two countries. There's North Korea and South Korea. And Korea is in the continent of Asia. In the book, Yoon moves from Korea all the way to the United States. You can imagine she was feeling pretty lonely when she moved that far away from her home. I wonder if you have a connection similar to Yoon. Have you ever felt lonely? Have you ever been to a new school? Maybe partnership was new to you this year. Maybe you moved to a different country where the language was different. These are some challenges that Yoon had in this story, and I'm ready to share it with you now. Here we go. The dedication page for Yoon. My name is Yoon. I came here from Korea, a country far, far away. It was not long after we settled in that my father called me to his side. Soon you will go to your new school. You must learn to print your name in English, he said. Here, this is how it looks. Y-O-O-N. I wrinkled my nose. I did not like Yoon. Lines, circles, each standing alone. My name looks happy in Korean, I said. The symbols, they dance together. And in Korean, my name means shining wisdom. I like the Korean way better. Well, you must learn to write it this way. Remember, even when you write in English, it still means shining wisdom. In the picture, you can see Yoon with her father practicing the writing, learning all of the letters in the English language. I did not want to learn the new way. I wanted to go back home to Korea. I did not like America. Everything was different here. But my father handed me a pencil, and as I said, do as I say. He showed me how to print every letter in the English alphabet. So I practiced, and my father was very pleased. Look, he called to my mother. See how well our little Yoon does? Yes, she said. She will be a wonderful student. I wrinkled my nose. My first day at school, I sat quietly at my desk while the teacher talked about cat. She wrote cat, C-A-T, on the chalkboard. She read a story about cat. I did not know what her words meant, but I knew what the picture said. She sang a song about cat. It was a pretty song, and I tried to sing the words too. Later, she gave me a paper with my name on it. Name, Yoon, she said, and she pointed to the empty lines underneath. I did not want to write Yoon. I wrote cat instead. I wrote cat. C-A-T on every line. I wanted to be cat. I wanted to hide in a corner. My mother would find me and cuddle up close to me. I would close my eyes and meow quietly. The teacher looked at my paper. She shook her head and frowned. So you are cat, she asked. The ponytail girl sitting behind me giggled. After school, I said to my father, we should go back to Korea. It is better there. 
Do not talk like that, he said. America is your home now. I sat by the window and watched a little robin hop, hop in the yard. He is all alone too, I thought. He has no friends, no one likes him. Then I had a very good idea. If I draw a picture for the teacher, then maybe she will like me. It was the best bird I had ever drawn. Look, father, I said proudly. Oh, this makes me happy, he said. Now do this. And he showed me how to print bird under the picture, B-I-R-D. The next day at school, the teacher handed me another Yoon paper to print, but I did not want to print Yoon. I wrote bird instead. I wrote bird on every line. I wanted to be bird. I wanted to fly, fly back to Korea. I would fly to my nest and I would tuck my head under my little brown wing. The teacher looked at my paper. Again, she shook her head. So you are bird, she asked. Then I showed her my special robin drawing. I patted my red dress and then I patted the red robin. I lowered my head and peeked up at her. The teacher smiled. How was school today, my daughter? My mother asked. I think the teacher likes me a little, I said. Well, that is good, my mother said. Yes, but at my school in Korea, I was my teacher's favorite. I had many friends. Here, I am all alone. You must be patient with everyone, including yourself, my mother said. You will be a fine student, and you will make many new friends here. The next day at recess, I stood near the fence by myself. I watched the ponytail girl sitting on the swing. She watched me too. Suddenly, she jumped off the swing and ran over to me. She had a package in her hand. The wrapper said cupcake. She opened it up and gave me one. She giggled. I giggled too. When we were back in school, the teacher gave us more printing papers. I did not want to write Yoon. I wrote cupcake instead. I wanted to be cupcake. The children would clap their hands when they saw me. They would be excited. Cupcake, they would say. Here is cupcake. The teacher looked at my paper. And today you are cupcake, she said. She smiled a very big smile. Her eyes said, I like this girl, Yoon. After school, I told my mother about my ponytail friend. I sang a new song for my father. I sang in English. You make us so proud, little Yoon, my mother said. Maybe America will be a good home, I thought. Maybe different is good, too. Then, the next day at school, I could hardly wait to print. And this time, I wrote Yoon on every line. When my teacher looked at my paper, she gave me a big hug. Aha, you are Yoon, she said. Yes, I am Yoon. I write my name in English now. It still means shining wisdom. All right. So I hope you like that story. I think it's important that Yoon was able to learn a little bit of English, but I think it's also important that she holds on to her own culture and still speaks Korean with her family and at school too. Just like it's very important for most of you to still speak Spanish both at school and at home. Now, here for our work. 
I want you to choose one of these words to describe how Yoon was feeling in the beginning and then in the end. Let me show you. In the beginning, Yoon was feeling mm. I'm going to use one of these four words to describe how she was feeling. In the picture, you see a person sitting on a bench all alone. That is what all four of these words mean. They mean lonely or feeling like you're all by yourself. So you could use the word lonely, isolated, alone, or an outcast. Let's see. In the beginning, Yoon was feeling, I'm going to use the word isolated. I like that because I haven't heard that word before, but I know it means lonely or all by myself. Now I'm going to finish one more sentence. By the end, Yoon was happy, proud, welcomed, included. These words, and you probably know happy, of course, means that you're feeling good and you're feeling part of a group. I think I'm going to use the word included. By the end, Yoon was included. On Class Dojo, I want you to either in your notebook or on the screen, finish these sentences in the beginning Yoon was feeling, hmm, and you can put in your own word. If you don't like these words, you could choose your own. By the end, Yoon was feeling, hmm, and you can again use one of these words or use one of your own. All right. Enjoy kindergartners. Have a great rest of your Friday and have a good weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye.